right, we're basically going to the market and the... We're going to do my favorite thing, which is grocery shop. Going to a market to get a bunch of groceries, try a bunch of really fresh food, and then bringing it back to the ship, and the executive chefs that are taking us through the market are going to make us food, and we are going to get to make some things with them. We're not sure what that's gonna look like yet. Very well could be me doing the dishes. <laughs> We are set and sell today at 12 o'clock. Very excited. I'm just gonna do a workout on the ship with this guy. When you will go inside, there's an atmosphere which is really um, um, local. Uh, Paul Bocuse was a chef who really liked to, uh, to cook as he wanted to share good times with his friends. He is known as the top, top chef in France and he just passed away um, at the age of, I think, 91 this winter. And um, he's a legend. Canada has Wayne Gretzky and they got this dude, you know? <laughs> have you ever seen a chicken with a yeah. head inside of a thing? All of them have heads before we cut them off. We want to be sure it's not plastic chicken, you know, it's a real one. You know, Tyson bird. I don't know if I would want to eat escargot. So they eat every piece of the pig do foie gras really well the liver of the duck fish oysters candy candied fruit and this is what we call here a jesus they have over 365 types of cheese french toast mike is called lost, lost toast to lost bread or lost, lost toast, toast. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when you're drinking wine, you don't really like. We just need to get you some pork rinds. Amazing meat, amazing fish, amazing cheese, amazing bread, and amazing sweets. They now do uh, savory macarons and not just sweet ones. And they had three flavors. They had one that was gorgonzola, one that was mushroom, and one that was foie gras. Gorgonzola, I'm gonna go for that first. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> it's foggling good. That was there. Foggling good. Foggling good. Foggling good. <laughs> I think it's so good. I like How that are you one. Shaking? No. I like that one more than this. Marge, do you like the gorgonzola the most? No, no. <laughs> if I'm going to eat cheese, I'm going to eat cheese, not put between some delicious biscuits. <laughs> I'm literally having the best time. You guys know how much I love the grocery store? This is like the ultimate grocery store experience. The food's really fresh. You can taste it. You can literally try everything. And I'm following two executive chefs around. Absolutely unbelievable vegetables. The asparagus we can use. I'm asking them how to cook certain items. I've never really known how to cook. And uh, you can do this with me when I'm here again, November of 2019. We are gonna set sail. So we're gonna head back, get on the boat, set sail. And then later on this afternoon, we're actually gonna go into the galley with the chefs that we toured this uh, market with and start cooking. So it'd be cool to see the behind the scenes. Yeah. All right, we are back from shopping. I love the grocery store. That was like the most epic grocery shopping I could have done. Finally, we get to sail and I'm probably going to do some intervals in the exercise room. I think we're headed to Avignon. Avignon. That's Avignon. our next stop. And now it's time to see if this boat can fit under that bridge. Will it fit? My name's Rob Bezgen. I'm the uh, president of Zaven Global, which is a incentive travel company. We approached the amazing Brooke Entz. She got on board, on board literally. And uh, I am on board literally. Experiences. Experiences. 
very painful clothesline. The captain is now in the water behind the boat. Yeah, ahoy! We are about to go through the lock, which is like the Panama Canal. You go in there, it fills up with water, the boat raises up, and then you can move upstream. That is about as right as I would say. This is what you do when you, you take a picture. You gotta tell me a one, two, three. This is what my friend Daniel J does too. One, two, three. <laughs> Kidding me? Just in your room, right here. Window down. You know that we're on the uh, upper room. The upper room. We have some escargot. I guess we start with the champagne first. Oh yeah. We're gonna have escargot. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I like it. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. When you open the oyster, don't start from the side. It's not good. He puts a knife here inside. Then you can lift up the cover. Take a draw. Draw. And? Oh man. Yeah, good. Really good. Yes. Come on, kid. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <What>? Yes. <laughs> wow, that's surprisingly fresh though. I know I didn't know. It's like a fresh afterthought. You know? <laughs> I just had escargot for the first time. I never anticipated that that would ever taste good. And snails are good. And they're not hard to catch. Big tiger prawn. We cut it here very softly. Look how big that is. Look like a fish. That's a lot of fruit. And this is apparently the French style of caprese, so it has truffle oil, 120 year aged balsamic, and fresh basil. It is a baba rum. Baba rum. If I had a match, I would just blow flames. <laughs> and we finish with the baba arum for dessert. Amazing day. Dream come true. I love grocery shopping. I love cooking. And I got to go to a big, really well-known market. Uh, no, most of it, <laughs> when you add the butter and the cream, is not super great for you, but in moderation, it is fantastic. Now I'm gonna go and eat some more Baba Rome, maybe have another flute of champagne, and then get on the Aerodyne bike. Yeah, can you smell all the garlic and butter and 